Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be building the Haseawa F Talio 190A frame in 148 scale. This I think was the original tooling of the of Haseawa's famous Fogwolf 190 line. And, and this one is out of production and has been maybe has been superseded by the Edward kit, but I still think the simpler Haseawa kits are better. I haven't opened the kit yet because I will be making a start tomorrow. Here you can see the, all the parts that are bagged inside well, the bag. And it's also a simpler build because it doesn't have a full engine like the later kits have. As you can see I've already cut the chevrons which, I, which were supposed to be used in the Rebel ME262 that I finished yesterday and so they are here and I won't, I, won't, I won't be using them I will be painting the aircraft as FW190 A3 Eagle Head the ones you see here and I will be using for the Eagle Heads and the rest of the decals Mr. Mark Softer which I hope will be more stronger than the Microsoft the kit wasn't bought by me, it was bought, the kit wasn't originally mine, it was from a Facebook seller who had separated the clear parts from the sprue and placed them back into the bag. And now I will show you the instructions. You can see here the picture of the finished aircraft, a, a small a brief history of the aircraft, sprue map, colors to be used. Here you can see construction of the cockpit, cockpit glue to, gluing to the fuselage, construction of the wheel wells. This is what I mean for the engine. It doesn't come as the full version that are in the FW190s A5 to A8. You can see here that the ailerons are also separate. And here you can see installation of the engine plus the exhaust. The here you can see the construction of the landing gear, propeller, and final assembly. Let me show you the let me show you the painting schemes, the camo schemes. Here you can see both camouflage schemes. One has the earlier crosses and the latter and the second one has the only white crosses. I will be doing black 13 with the eagle head which is an aircraft I fancied for a long time after seeing the Tamiya version. So yeah, tomorrow I will be starting on the construction, on, on the build. And this one, and YouTube won't be the, the only place I will be sharing my progress. I'm on the Just Brushes group build on Reddit in Model Makers, and I will be posting my photos there with the hashtag brushes only. As a test measure for the decals, I will be using Mr. Mark Softer to, to soften the, the, the instrument panel decal on the, on, the cock, on the instrument panel, of course, and hopefully I won't, it will conform perfectly to the surface. Now that this short the short introduction is over. These are the short inter the, the short introduction is over. I will be starting the build right tomorrow with better lighting. So yeah, I hope to see you all there. Take care and let me close the box. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. So guys, brand new day, brand new update. I started the Fog Wolf later yesterday, late at night, and what I did was to add to gloss the instrument panel and add the decals. Here you can see if it focuses. Doesn't. There it focused. You can see here that I added the instrument panel decal and the instruments for the cockpit. I used Mr. Mark Softer to make them sink into the irregularities. I also painted the wheels to speed up the process, the assembly process. Here you can see the tail wheel painted too. 
The Propeller was painted RLM70 with silver hubs. The engine was painted black because nothing will be seen. And that's it for now. I will be gluing some parts today and taking pictures. So expect the new video soon, which will be after next the, this one right now. See, I have glued the fuselage together. The cockpit was a bit difficult to fully glue inside the fuselage because it kept falling over. I had to tape it down, tape it down. I also built the wheel wells, which are formed by one, two, three, four, five parts. And now I will glue the wheel wells to the wings, let that dry, and then I will glue the wings to the fuselage. Then I will add the horizontal stabilizers and the cowlings. Now that the wings are glued, it's time to close the to glue the fuselage to the wings. I first have had to open you can see it here but I opened two holes for the outer machine guns. The ones for the inner machine cannons are already opened by Hasegawa. The assembly of the wi of the wings was pretty straightforward. I needed to glue the ailerons which came separate from the kit. And as you can see here, the fit isn't all that bad. As you can see here, it isn't all that bad. So it can be solved by some judicious masking. And, and well, that's it for now. I will be gluing the wings to the fuselage. And I'll see you in the next clip. As you can see in this video, the fuselage, is, the fuselage is almost completed. I attached the horizontal stabilizers in place. They are a bit of a loose fit, so it had to be taped in order to preserve the correct dihedral, dihedral or positioning. Here you can see it's a bit off. I will correct it now. The wings were also taped together to avoid them drooping and forming a gap. Another stage I will be doing right now is to build up the engine. I have already assembled what's the basic engine. I also added the nose cap in order to have a spinning propeller. Here is the, the cowling, the nose ring, the lower cowling. And here you can see the exhaust, which will be glued to the, to the cowlings and then will be closed to form the engine. Okay, the fuselage fit between the, en the engine cowlings and the fuselage was, was a bit fiddly. It didn't help that the engine support came loose because it was poor, poorly glued and it was and it was skewed so that ended up making it easier to pry to pry open and re-glue it correctly. As you can see here, I think I've attached per correctly the 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 engine exhaust and now I will leave the glue to set before install before starting the painting stage which I hopefully we I will let the horizontal stabilizers glue more time the I mean dry more time because they can be they may still be fresh so as not to uh, so as not to move them and ha end up with non-aligned horizontal stabilizers and yeah that's it for now we will see you in the next clip all right so now that the aircraft airframe is fully built up i will start the painting part by applying first the yellow to the rudder and the lower cowling
You can see here that I didn't achieve a perfect fit. Far from it is the worst fit of the entire kit. Here you can see the same, but it's less noticeable. But that was me. It was my fault because I rushed the build and didn't pay attention to instructions, which were saying to install first the lower cowling, then the upper one, and I instead built the entire cowling and tried to glue it with the engine on. So yeah, that was my fault. I I'll see if I feel it. I I'll try to feel it, but I think the cowlings of the 190 didn't fit very well either, so I could get away with that by by just not doing anything but it will look like poor building skills if i did if i don't feel it so guys as you can see here i have started decaling the aircraft i forgot to show you the painting progress because i was too i wanted to test the decals because they seemed a bit brittle on the sheet the model was painted rlm 74 75 76 with yellow rudder and lower cowling the, the the best part are the eagle heads because I always wanted to have one one of those eagle heads in my collection. Now we will be keep, I will keep uh, I will keep decaling the aircraft and then I will apply Mr. Mark Soft Mr. Mark Softer to make them make them sink into the panel lines because Hasegawa decals are a bit thick and I was told a combination between hot water and Mr. Mark Softer would help them sink into the panel lines. So guys, as you can see, I have finished decalling the aircraft. The decals that came with the kit were very brittle. Some broke, like this. Like this, if you can see here, you can see here the tear mark on the decal, and the thirteen broke all too because I, it wasn't dipped in hot water in hot enough water. The eagle heads behaved perfectly and they conformed to the exhaust with two brushes of Mr. Mark Softer. Now I will let the decals set for until maybe 10 p.m. We, we are now at, I think, half past seven in Argentina. And once the aircraft is matte coated, I will add the landing gear and I will it will be all that and and I will be adding the propeller the cock the canopies in place and I will call the build finished. So guys, I have finally finished the FW 190 A3 from Hasegawa. The last pieces to be added were the landing gear, propeller and other ancillaries. I realized one thing when I earlier today that I had glued the wrong piece for the wheel do gear doors, which was promptly replaced without any damage to the airframe, luckily. As I told you late yesterday, the decals were a bit brittle, but nothing that couldn't be solved with a bit of patience and some water to re relocate the broken decals. So yeah, now I, I particularly like the Eagle Head because it's an aircraft I've been wanting to model since I saw it in the Tami uh, kit. So now I will leave you with the final reveal photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe and I will see you in the next video of the Hasegawa BF109 F4 Trop uh, Hans Joachim Marseille's aircraft. Take care and I'll see you in that video.